Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilllink. Hope you're doing well. Very recently, we started a new series called Master Course Review. In this particular series, what we do is we pick up our master course, take a look at the modules in the master course, take a look at the contents in the module and the projects that you will be working on in this particular module. One of the other things that we are doing is also how your project portfolio will look like after finishing this master course and what kind of jobs you can apply for through this and what kind of jobs that you can apply for after finishing this master course. So if you are looking at this video for the first time and have not heard about Skilling, just to give you a brief idea, Skilling is an online educational platform which provides job leading courses for mechanical, electrical, civil and computer science engineers. You can go take a look at some of our courses and understand uh, what course works for you. Okay, the master course that we are looking at today is Masters in Automation and Pre-Processing for FEA and CFD Analysis. As I said, this is the master course that we will be looking into. This is a fully online coursework. Uh, you can do it for full time if you spend six months. Uh, if you want to do it part time, it will take you around 12 months. The number of projects you will be working on is around uh, 12 to 15 projects that you will be working on uh, in this particular coursework. So what does masters in automation and pre-processing for FEA and CFD analysis mean, right? If you are a mechanical engineer and if you want to get into R&D product development, then the different roles that are available are one is design. So in the ideation stage, uh, there is design. Then once you design the product, then there is analysis. In analysis, there is computational fluid dynamics, finite element analysis and multi-body dynamics. Right? Uh, these are three broad segments. So if you take any analysis uh, in an industry, what they do is they have three parts to an analysis, which is pre-processing, uh, solving and post-processing. Right. So there are different set of tools that they use for pre-processing. Uh, there are a different set of solvers that they use for solving and there are different set of post-processing tools. As well. In India, particularly, there are a lot of pre-processing uh, roles and automation roles available uh, right now and also that will kind of go up in the future. So this is a brief overview of this particular master course. Uh, what I will do is I will kind of go through each and every coursework. Right. So this master course actually has seven courses in it. These are the first courses. The first course that you will be looking into is automation using Python. Why do you need to learn this? So as the world moves into automation, you as a pre-processing engineer need to automate a lot of your work and that the tool that you might end up using is Python. Say, for example, if you are automating some stuff using ANSA, and it will be very easy for you to automate it using Python, right? And uh, the second course that you will be looking into is Hypermesh for FEA, plastic and sheet metal application. So this is a pure pre-processing coursework where Hypermesh is one of the industry leading pre-processing softwares, right? So there are different type of uh, meshing uh, that happens for a plastic component or a sheet metal component. And you will be taking a look at this particular you will be taking a look at that in this particular coursework, right? Hypermesh automation using PCLTK. Remember, I said that uh, Python is used for ANSA automation. ANSA is another pre-processing software, very similar to that. In this particular coursework, you will understand how to automate Hypermesh using PCLT. Then you will also learn about automation using ANSYS Workbench and Python. Say, for example, ANSYS Workbench is a FEA tool uh, you will basically learn how to automate certain solvers using Python in uh, ANSYS work. The fifth coursework is pre-processing for structural applications using ANSA. Uh, the sixth coursework is automation using MATLAB. The seventh course, uh, coursework is automation in structural analysis using MATLAB and NAS. So you can basically take a look at this in two ways. The first two courses that you will be looking into is course two and course five, right? Course two is basically hypermesh for FEA, plastic and sheet metal. Course five is pre-processing for structural applications using ANSA. Hypermesh and ANSA are the most relevant softwares in the industry, right? For pre-processing. If you know these two softwares very well, you can definitely get into a, a fresher entry level job, right? Now you have learned that. What is the next step? Automating hypermesh and automating ANSA basically puts you ahead of the curve, right? 
And if you think about this, and learning hypermesh and ANSA will basically, if you think about this, if you learn hypermesh and ANSA really well, you will be better than every engineering graduate, fresher engineering graduate that is there in the job search along with. If you basically learn automation using Python and automation using TCLTK for hypermesh, you basically get one step forward. So usually in an industry, it takes at least two to three years of experience to learn these skills. Right? So you will basically go a little forward as well. So that will be the third and fourth course. The fifth course will be automation using ANSYS Workbench and Python. Then you basically learn automation using MATLAB and automation in structural analysis using MATLAB and Master. So Master is another structural analysis software that is used for automation. So these are the seven courses that you will be looking into in this particular course. So I'll basically go through the courses, right? Or say, for example, the first course is automation using Python in this particular coursework, you will look into. Do not worry if you are a fresher, do not have any experience in computer programming. We will basically start from the beginning. We introduce you to Python, you will get introduced to plotting and visualization. You will understand how to solve dynamic equations. You will understand how to use curve fitting and regressions. And you will understand iterative solvers and how to do data analysis. Once you do that, you basically, in in every one of these modules you basically start working on one assignment in every one of the modules and you work on a project as well so there will be two projects that you will be working on in this particular course one is the breaking ice with our cushion vehicle and data analysis i will not go deep into this particular projects because it will take a lot of time to kind of explain what the projects are but these projects allow you to implement python you know mechanical engineering or automotive engineering point of view right and, and the whole curriculum is built like that you will not learn python in a computer science way of it you will basically learn python in a mechanical engineering or an automotive engineering way of it. so the second coursework uh, is hypermesh for fea plastic and sheet metal application so the second coursework is hypermesh for fea plastic and sheet metal applications if you are new to hypermesh right do not worry again we start from the basics and gradually take it upwards right you understand what are basics of fea you will, so you will get introduced to hypermesh gui gui is graphical user interface uh, what that means is basically you will know where each tool is in the screen right uh, you will understand what are the key geometry tools what does 1d meshing mean what is job how to clean up the geometry and uh, how to basically uh, do mid surface meshing or what is 2D meshing, certain introductions and examples that, uh, that you will basically work on. Very important thing is understanding what is uh, quality criteria or advanced 2D meshing, 3D meshing, connectors, batch meshing, morphing techniques and macro generation. While I explain all these subheadings, one of the things that you will basically understand is these are not just theoretical concepts that you will basically mug up like you did in college. Everything that you basically learn will be given through an example. You will basically start working on a particular uh, assignment for every particular subheading, uh, right? And uh, at the end of the uh, coursework, you will also work on two projects. So the first project will be meshing an inner panel of a car. So you have seen your inner panel, the dashboard of your car. So you will start meshing that. So that is first project. The second one is meshing uh, of car spare tire plastic component. So there is a spare tire plastic component in your car and you will basically mesh. What you will gain at the end of this particular course because you will have a very good understanding of hypermesh, what are quality criteria, what is a 1D, 2D and 3D meshing, how to do mid surface meshing and so on. Right? All you need to do is focus on the finishing the assignments and projects. And the reason why it will stay is because you will practice each and every component of it. Right? The third course is basically automation using TCLTK for hypermesh. In hypermesh, you understood the different aspects of meshing. So here it's more about automation. TCL commands, it's like say a programming language, say I'm, I'm giving an analogy. So you will basically learn what are the TCL commands, what do they mean, right? So building a, say graphical user interface with TK, right? And so you will understand what is problem of normal. Uh, so what is basically uh, zero and null cases, right? And these are the different subheadings that you will basically learn in this particular coursework, right? Uh, you will also work on two projects. So the first project will be master utility and uh, understanding master utility. And the second project will be how to model report in hypermesh, right? So these are all automation oriented projects. So that is what you will be learning in this particular course. The first course you will basically learn 
automation using python so you will be really good at python uh, we basically start from the beginning the second course you will basically look into a hypermesh to understand what hypermesh is uh, you get uh, accustomed to the graphical user interface and the physics behind meshing and physics behind pre-processing so you basically do that in the second course what you will understand is pre-processing of uh, say complex components is a time taking task how do you basically automate that and that's what you will basically look into this third coursework which is uh, automation for hypermesh using TCLT. The fourth course again is introduction to automation using ANSYS Workbench and Python. This particular coursework you will basically deal with ANSYS Workbench. ANSYS Workbench is a solver. You might have heard about ANSYS and most of the companies use ANSYS Workbench for their structural simulations. Understanding how to automate that gives you an edge whenever you get into an interview or if you are a working professional, if you want to go to the next step, this particular coursework does wonders for you, right? Again, it gets introduced to ANSYS, introduction to Python is very similar to what happens in the first course. That is something called ANSYS ACT. You will understand what that is, what are the API, what is ACT API, how to build apps, how to build wizards and then you will basically work on two projects. You will automate an ANSYS mechanical setup. So basically setting up the whole project, you will automate that. And you will also prepare a wizard in ANSYS, right? So while I explain this, uh, you might feel, oh my God, this is kind of, I, I'm not able to understand what he says. But uh, one thing that I would recommend is if you are in the zero to two years of experience, this course will work wonders. If you are a fresher, the other course that you I would recommend you to take a look into is Masters in Computer Aided Engineering. Pretty much what, what this course has, but minus the automation part of it, right? So yeah, going to the next course, course five, a preprocessor for structural analysis using ANSA. ANSA, as I said, is one of the uh, most popular pre-processing tools. So here, again, as you saw in the HyperMesh course, you will get introduced to ANSA graphical user interface and what are the different tools. Some of the important things that you as a, a pre-processor should know is how to do manual mid-surface uh, meshing, 2D, how, what is 2D meshing, quality criteria. So if you remember, you understood 2D meshing and quality criteria and hypermesh, right, already. So here, again, you will understand how it uh, works in ANSA. What it does is you understand, okay, what are the difference between two tools and what is the basic physics behind it? So once you understand that, you will be able to simulate or mesh uh, components in any particular tool. So that's that's a great advantage for you. Again, you will look into what is tetra mesh, what is hex mesh, connections. So connections is basically for seats and doors, uh, introduction to batch meshing, introduction to morphing basics. Then you will work on two parts. Uh, here, you will basically take a IP trim component of an automotive car and you will basically pre-process that or basically pre-process means mesh that and you will basically take an automotive suspension assembly and you will be basically mesh that, right? So this particular course gives you really good uh, knowledge about ANSA. So what is the sixth course? Sixth course, this is a short course, automation using MATLAB. Here you will understand about how you can use MATLAB to automate mechanical engineering problems. So that's something that you will be looking into. Again, you will look into some of the problems that you have known before and studied in your undergrad, forward kinematics, as standard cycle, vibration dynamics, curve fitting and regression, genetic algorithm. You will basically use MATLAB to do these simulations. So once the idea behind this is as you keep doing this, as your ability to use MATLAB or Python increase, your opportunities in the industry also increases. Very simple. The projects is you will work on a file parsing of a NASA thermodynamic property calculations and then a rank and cycle simulation. So course seven, this is the last course. Uh, this is automation in structural analysis and design using MATLAB and MASTAN. Right. Uh, so here you will get an understanding of uh, MASTAN because MATLAB you will have a knowledge before, but how you can use uh, MASTAN and MATLAB to do automation and structural analysis. Right. You will basically understand fundamentals of structural system, uh, what is global analysis equations, what is stiffness analysis equation, what are explicit solvers, what are the virtual work principles that you need to basically look into. You will take a frame and analyze that introduction to nonlinear analysis, geometric nonlinear analysis, material nonlinear analysis, and uh, you will basically look into solution to NL equilibrium equations and special analysis procedures. Right. Again, as I said, these might look complex, but do not worry. Right. We have a very, very strong support system. You can go take a look at our Google reviews. Like we have around 850 to 900 Google reviews with over 4.8 rating. One of the things that you will understand is we basically support you at each and every step of your coursework. 
say if you're doing full time which is 40 hours per week you basically can speak with our teaching assistant or support engineer from morning 8 am to evening 10 pm so any time you can basically reach out ask a question get your question clarified we will do everything to make sure your doubt is clarified right uh, our support system is one of the best in the world i can gladly say that and that's why our course completion rate is through the roof right so yeah great so this is basically uh, the uh, seventh and last coursework so if you are interested in the coursework do reach out or you can basically comment and uh, you can also call to 9809805252 right so one of the other things that i'm going to show you is basically the coursework itself so this is the coursework that you will see uh, you will basically have the link for this coursework as well you will also have the link of this coursework in uh, below the video do take a look at it right and uh, so yeah as i said these are the seven courses that you will be looking into and uh, go take a look at each of the coursework the details everything what you will be looking into is put in detail in this particular course so that you can understand before enrolling in the coursework uh, so you have different projects so you can basically click on it you can understand how the projects work and everything right so how does a student's profile look like right every student who works at skillink basically creates a profile right so for example this is these are profiles of students that are working in skillink so they say i am basically looking into jeralds uh, profile so this is jeralds profile you can basically take a look at jeralds profile at any point of time all you need to do jerald did not do anything to develop this portfolio right you see a lot of projects out here so jerald all jerald did was finish the coursework on time so he submitted course project he submitted the assignment and automatically you can see uh, jerald's uh, coursework coming up so for example surface machine of a bmw m6 car i can just click on it and i can see what gerald has done in this particular coursework think about it one of the advantages is let me kind of track back so if you think about it you need to understand the theory correctly right that is fundamental if you do not understand the theory your ability to apply the theory and do a simulation is will not be happening right so that is very very fundamental right so see how gerald has explained the theory right you can basically go take a look at this uh, this particular project as well so you can basically look at this so he explains each and every aspect of what he has done and think about this particular course right uh, this particular project this is one project in one coursework right and you basically work on four projects in one coursework and eight assignments so think about how many projects and assignments that you will end up working on and the kind of portfolio that you will develop at the end of the course and that's what is impressive because when you send out your profile to a company they basically will take a look at what you have done and they will basically ask you the question say for example you are an engineer if you are in your third and fourth year even your mini project or your major project will not be this detailed right and that is what working on a skilling project will mean and there are multiple people who have done this right so one one thing that i wanted to show you was uh, say uh, sachin murlidhan so sachin recently finished a ca masters coursework and he currently works at ford right he was a fresher and he currently works at ford and you can basically go to sachin's profile and also take a look at sachin's profile on skill right what we basically allow students to do is build a strong fundamental uh, knowledge in simulations not only using how to use a tool but what is the theory behind the tool that is really important what is the theory behind the tool and how the theory connects to the uh, uh, connects to the simulation part of it because see at the end of the day everything is physics right so you need to understand physics of it and the math behind it. once you understand physics and math behind anything you can use any tool to do the simulation so for example in four, four to five years down the lane there is a new tool which automates pre processing and you want to learn it it will be like this right you will learn the tool very very fast so yeah this is this is something that i wanted to kind of convey hope this is helpful do take a look at our coursework i will basically make sure i put the link of this particular course below this youtube video if you have any questions feel free to comment we'll be happy to assist and also you can be basically reach out to this number on our website 89398508518 do reach out if you have any questions we'll be happy to help thank you guys